So I, I'm a third generation rice farmer, but my family's been farming in the Sacramento Valley since the late 1800s. But it comes with its challenges. Um, it's definitely gotten harder year in and year out with uh, the lack of water availability due to this current drought. At least 14,000 jobs have been lost in the, in the Sacramento Valley. And so we're very concerned. It's, it's been a struggle during this drought and we hope to find our way out. Right here in the Sacramento Valley, we grow everything. Well, you know, when there's no water, it makes it a bit of a challenge to grow things, uh, especially for the rice fields, rice, almonds. There's a lot of crops here that require a lot of water. You're gonna notice a difference in the availability of produce. You're gonna notice a difference in cost. As the supply dwindles, the cost is gonna go up. And rice can be up to about 60% of the bird's diet. Um, and on the west side of the Sacramento Valley, we're looking at about 4% of the rice that's normally produced. Um, and we're all struggling in terms of our water allocations. Drought has really impacted California, both for waterfowl and for agriculture. So this year, all of those fields that were not planted, like this one here, um, won't have that amazing benefit of having the post-harvest waste grains available for water birds. So there's a pretty big concern, both for the ag producers and for the, for the water birds in the valley. Ducks Unlimited has been very involved and very dedicated to help make sure that farmers have access to the water that they need to grow their crops. Ducks Unlimited has really been a, a strong partner in supporting everything that the Rice Commission has been doing and the rice industry has done um, to really increase the value of their rice fields to provide better habitat for water birds, and fish, right, that can use these fields and use the food resources coming out of them um, to, to strengthen their populations. What was important about Ducks Unlimited being involved with salmon was they realized that if we didn't help the species and we didn't allow it to continue to thrive, farmers might not have access to that water. So they found that this was a very important project and they put their all and they led that effort it's about conservation. It's about a cooperation between the growers and the water suppliers. It's a symbiotic relationship that will ensure that we're gonna have water when we can get water, and it's not gonna be wasted where it might have been wasted in the past. It's raining here in California, and in fact, we're on track to have one of the wettest winters that we've had in a long time. But that doesn't mean that the drought is over. In fact, the Pacific Flyway is dependent upon what we call the big three, Great Salt Lake, Klamath Basin, and of course, anchored by the Central Valley. It needs to rain and snow in all of these landscapes multiple years in a row in order for the drought to see a significant decline overall. And just because we have one wet winter doesn't mean that a 30 year drying trend is overcome. It's likely this isn't gonna be the last time that we're experiencing this, and this may be a bit of a new normal. So I envision us working with DU very closely, working with others very closely on trying to figure out things like how do we improve water conservation? How do we deal with white conveyance structures um, in, in our irrigation systems? How do we work on you know, having independent delivery within wetland units to the save water associated with that? How do we recirculate water? I think that those are some of the next steps that we'll be very actively working with DU and others on um, and trying to implement those projects. We hope, right, as, as years sort of progress, we'll be in a situation where rice fields can produce a tremendous amount of food for people, support the Pacific Flyaway and the waterfowl that use it, and support fish both in the rivers and in the fields and, and help bolster those populations which are struggling. Ducks Unlimited has been very collaborative and very, a very strong advocate for farmers. Um, they lend themselves to issues to really help and make sure that both the economic and environmental benefits of water are apportioned properly for, for farmers and farmers get what's, what's important to help raise a crop like this. 
Um, they, they recognize the value of rice as a surrogate wetland to help sustain um, the Pacific Flyway and the, and the waterfowl that are here um, each and every year.